Hi, I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design, and today I'm going to uh, explain some of the behind the scenes things. Uh, I notice that quite often when I make a video, I'm a little high for that camera, that looks better. I notice quite often when I make a video that within a few days, everybody else will make a video and imitate it. Like when I was doing uh, uh, giveaways, people all did giveaways. When I did the drawings, they all did drawings. And when I did Mythbusters, they all did Mythbusters. And, you know, that's fine. No problem at all. I'd like to see people be a little more creative in that and break off and do their own thing. Some of them have, some of them haven't. So uh, just to mix it up a little bit, make my life a little more interesting, what I do now is when I make a video, I try to make it... Uh, in a way that other people can't copy it, just to see how successful it's, it's a personal challenge. For example, um, if I make a video where I'm building something, where I'm in the machine shop and I'm showing you where I'm cutting and drilling and turning and milling, there's not too good a chance that somebody's going to copy that because um, most of the other people that are making videos don't have a machine shop. There is a few that have machine shops but they're not set up to do the type of stuff I'm doing. They're either for big things or they're CNC. And I wouldn't think anybody would write a CNC program and make something uh, just to one up my video, although it could happen. Uh, another thing is uh, I always try to keep changing. I, I try not to do the same thing over and over again. Not so much for video content as, for an example, uh, the opening frame. Some people, uh, I know a couple of people, that when you go to, actually three, when you go to the video, the first thing you've got to be subjected to is you have to go through the opening video song music sequence that's on all the videos before it. And if you've watched a hundred of the videos, you've seen that sequence a hundred times. And what I do is when I get to that, uh, I'm looking for the content. I, I don't want to watch the cutesy song video thing again. So I usually try to forward through that and I usually get into the meat of it a little bit and then try to back up. It's really uh, a waste of my time and uh, a, a waste of... I don't respect the people anymore for it. It's a waste of my time. It's a waste of their time and it's really not a good way to go. I usually put an opening frame on mine. I try to keep it to a maximum of four seconds and I try to have the pictures change. And I also try to have the picture be something for eye candy. The one that's up there right now is a picture of a block, 8-inch block of tool steel with some tin-coated mill bits on it and a, and a master blank and stuff. Uh, that's pleasant to look at. It has some artistic license to it. Uh, and it's only on there for four seconds. And you're not going to see it on the next 100 videos. I might use it for up to 10 videos and I'll change. Sometimes I have my little... Uh, miniature of Mickey Mouse up there. And I try to change the names too. Uh, and, you know, ha move around like Pot Tech, things like that. Uh, the one that's up on the screen right now is uh, Tinny Tech. And once I'm into the video, I try to stay upbeat and uh, pack as much information as I can into the video. Now, here's my personal challenge to all the other people making videos. I want the backpacking industry, the ultralight backpacking industry with the alcohol stoves and such and pots to be a friendlier place. So you guys that are making videos and staring into the camera black eyed and you know saying mean things and and or not looking at the camera at all, never making eye contact and just defending yourself against something somebody said on a comment telling people they need to get their information. We don't need that. We don't care. We don't want to watch it. What we want is information about the sport and about the equipment. And we want it in a light-hearted way that's friendly. Uh, you'll catch a lot more with honey than you will with vinegar. So my challenge to everybody else is quick copy of my videos, make your own, be creative, Change, keep changing, don't do the same entry every time, and try to be nice. Try to be lighthearted, 
try to pack it with as much information as possible. Uh, I, you know, I'm not going to watch somebody on a video where I watch uh, the same entrance every time, and then you get into it, and they're, and they're, they're not giving me any information, uh, just wasting my time fiddling around with stuff and talking slow and and the subject matter they've got the reason they're talking slow is they don't really have anything to begin with uh, they really don't have any content if you don't have any content real easy don't make a video that day when you have some good content that people are interested in uh, that's not hateful and uh, mean-spirited make a video if you're just gonna if you're just mad because somebody left a comment and I've done the same thing I'm, I'm no priest I've done the same thing many times. Somebody leave a bad comment and I'll make a video on it. Don't do that anymore. I'm not going to do it anymore. Try to make them lighthearted. Try to pack them with as much information as possible. Try to keep them lively. Uh, cut way down on the repetition. Try to smile. And everybody will be better off for it. Uh, that's my challenge in the industry to start doing that. Um, I'm really tired of the other ones, the other videos, and I'm really tired of the repetition. And I'm really tired of the intros that are the same every single time, you know. You know the ones I'm talking about. <laughs> Kick it up a notch. Come on. Buy a new camera. You know, and like I say, if, if you're not in the mood to make a video, don't make a video. Don't make a video just because I made one. <laughs> so I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design. Get out and hike. Take a friend. Enjoy the great outdoors. Enjoy making your videos. Try to spend some time every day doing something fun. It'll make you a lot lighter-hearted and a lot more interesting person. And try to always have a really great day. Bye-bye.